Hey guys, so today I received this trunk mat from tesloid.com or tesloid.ca um, and it's uh, one of three pieces that I'm getting. The other two are coming shortly. This is the new revised trunk mat that will fit the 20, late 2020 and 2021 models of the Tesla Model 3. So let me uh, put it on and see what it looks like. This is what it's come like all wrapped up, of course, and uh, I'll unwrap it and show you how it looks. It's a pretty thick rubber. So as you can see here, it is unwrapped. It's a pretty good size. It's a nice thick rubber. It's got the Model 3 logo on it and it's got some heft and weight to it. Um, apparently the trunk was slightly changed in the latter half of last year and into the 2021 models. I'm not 100% sure about that, but that's I've kind of read conflicting things. So I said, well, I'll just wait for them to send me the one that they think will fit. So I'll try it on and uh, see how it looks. I've just been using a blanket all this time. This is my trusty blanket, which I put in every car that I drive when I'm throwing stuff in and out. And uh, now I'll put this in and let's see how it looks. All right, so this is an installed. Um, one thing I did notice is that it doesn't have, I thought it had a line that would allow this to be flexible so that if you had to get in here, this would come up and make it a little easier. Now it's not impossible. I don't go in to that cavity a lot, just where I store my charger cable and that kind of stuff. Uh, but it doesn't have that. It is nice, thick, it's raised. It's got a slight odor to it, which is already going away. I'm sure over a day or so it'll go away. Um, it fits nice and seamlessly, as you can see, with edges all the way around and a nice tight fit. Now, I did notice I had to move this up a little bit because it intrudes into where this is. So I'll probably drop it down a little bit. Just kind of wanted to move it out of the way for now and uh, see how it fit. It's a nice snug fit. And the good thing is it'll help protect the trunk. And uh, of course, any moisture that gets in there, it'll keep it as well, which is something that happens with some of the Teslas. Now mine actually came with the rain gutter, um, as you can see here with that modification that Tesla did. Uh, and this is a September 2020 uh, or end of August build. So it came with it and I haven't had any issues in the winter, mind you. We had, you know, I didn't really have a lot of instances where I had a ton of snow on it. But anyway, that's the Tesloid trunk liner for the 20, late 2020, 2021 Tesla Model 3. Fits good. It's a 3D one that they call it, 3D Max, I think they call it. Uh, thanks, Tesla, for sending this to me. Now, they sent this to me on promo, and the other two mats, which I'll show you in a sec here. I'm just waiting for them to come in. They should come in in the next day or so. I'll uh, put the next video after this one, and uh, you'll see those ones. So I got the other set of uh, trunk liners from Tesloid, and this is the one for the new, for the front. Uh, this is, again, where they changed the fronts to the smaller ones. They got rid of the ones that have the clips here that you can put bags on. So this is a smaller one. I don't have a heat pump, but it's the same frunk that all the versions that have the heat pump. So this would be, I guess, post June, July of 2020 Model 3s that have this trunk and uh, I believe Model Ys as well. So it's just, again, it's a thick piece of plastic. It's a very, fairly pliable, um, but it's really there just to protect it. Now, of course, the frunk is, is plastic anyway. It's all hard plastic, but it's hard to have another extra set of something to put in there. And it, as you can see, it fits in nicely and I'll put some stuff in there. I just carry grocery bags actually uh, when I go to go to the store, put my uh, grocery bags in there like that. So I always have, have them when I hunt. So now I'll put the one for the bottom part of the trunk. Okay, so for the trunk mat, this is the, the actual bottom trunk of the of the trunk, I don't know what that's called. It's the extra storage compartment. So again, here's the the mat, and it's a little a little bit dirty, but not too bad. I haven't uh, used it too much, so put that in there. And let me switch switch this around here. There we go. A little cleaner view, and it just fits right in. And even with my with my net that I had before, everything fits in. And uh, now I can put my stuff back. And I usually just keep my charging uh, setup. And in case you don't have one of these, this is something I bought oh, a couple of years ago, is a portable booster. It's a US, you charge it by USB and you can boost a car a couple of times. Just in case the 12 volt ever dies, it'll be hard to get this thing going. Or if it goes, just drops below a certain voltage. Uh, I had it happen to my Leaf once where I needed to actually boost it because I left the hazards on all day for a car show. And it was just enough to go below the, 
power to actually start the car, even though it doesn't crank anything. It was very strange. I had no idea. And then another Leaf owner said, oh, here, use my booster. And uh, that's what works. So I always carry one of these. Good idea to have one around as well. Hey guys, got this other item as well from Abstract Ocean. It's their brand new center console tray for Model 3 and Model Y. So for the new, uh, newer for the Model 3 and of course it fits with the Model Y. So let me show you how it looks. A couple of things I liked about it versus uh, some of the others is this is their newer version. So it comes with the white inserts. You can pick a color. These are rubberized inserts that just go in uh, basically just like that so they can stop things from sliding around. Now the other thing is that it has a deeper cutout as you can see here relative to a lot of the other ones on the marketplace and what that means is that it'll allow the light that's here uh, in your uh, console um, in the area for this tray um, to shine through and it really comes in handy at night. I had another one that I got from Amazon when I first got the Model 3 um, and as you can see here it has a cutout but it's uh, very high, so when I put it in, it actually blocks the light. And um, it's not as, it doesn't seem to be as deep as this one. This one's a little bit deeper as well. Uh, and it also, one thing I, I didn't like about the old one here is that it, um, they got some of my stuff, is that it um, doesn't have ridges here. It has just a very slight a bend and it find I found that it would sink into this area whereas this one has as you can see more pronounced ridges to uh, to grip the sides without actually being pushed down so let me put it in here and see how it fits so it just goes down with the light down here and there you go these rests and the lights shining through yep the light shining through there so as you can see the light shining through this is nice it's snug it's not actually being pushed down anymore these grip on it quite nicely and i like it because it has a place to put cards business cards or whatever i've got some gas cards for car washes and uh, uh, coffee cards and that kind of stuff also has a spot to put a pen here which is always good because sometimes i need a pen to write stuff down uh that kind of stuff so let me load it up and show you how it looks all right so i got all my stuff in it as you can see it's got lots of room uh, for change and cards and all that kind of stuff. I like the way it holds a pen. And again, the light is accessible. So at night, it'll be really nice to be able to see that light because half the time, I'm sometimes I'm fishing around for, for stuff, especially coins and stuff for all the drive throughs So anyway, just want to thank Abstract Ocean for sending this to me. Okay, so Jenna sent me this up and it's the, again for Model 3 and Model Y. It says here somewhere. Trust me, it does. And that's basically what it looks like. It's the new one. And the good thing about the Jetta series is that there's power on every port. I know some of the others, uh, they're a mixed bag of where you get the power from. But on the Jetta, they're programmed and wired pretty good for that. So you see you have uh, two USB-AB and two USB-C there. And then, of course, inside you have the, take this out, magnetic. You have your spot for your uh, sentry mode device that you want, your recorder for that. And again, this is the one that has the two USB-A and USB-C on it. So for those Model 3. So I'm going to install it and uh, see what how it works. Okay, so I've installed my uh, SSD drive in here, which is my SanDisk. Uh, I don't even remember what I got. 256, I guess it was 250 gigabyte. So plenty of room for all the uh, Sentry mode stuff. Make sure the plugs are in right. And now I'll install it. And again, it just goes here into the back wall. As you can see, I have one plug of each, so I'm going to plug it in. Okay, so there I have it installed. I have my uh, charger, charge, and each one. So the good thing is that each one has power. Then I have another uh, cable. My wife likes to uh, use her phone while we're driving in the car rather than putting on the charger. Um, so I have a separate cable for her, which is USB. So I still have a couple of C's here, which I don't need right now, uh, but it's great. It fits nice. You just have to take your time and, and uh, just find the ports and it will snugly fit. Thanks everybody for tuning in to this edition of my Tesla timeout series. Please check out the sponsor information in the show notes. There might be some discount codes as well. And don't forget, I have a Tesla referral code. Yeah, yeah that's right. Please use it if you're going to order a Tesla and you and I will both get free supercharging miles. Scream through New York City like him.
my dreams with New York pretty. I wanna fly alone in New York City. Run scheming light in New York City. Awakening is falling, dreaded hot. Be sure to stay and stay at high. Bright stone down at hard and night fly. Central hero shining silver beach lullaby. Up down from New York City.